story time friends Tipo and I are so happy to see you again are you ready to sing with us great get your singing voices on and your friend fingers ready hello friends hello friends hello friends it's time to say hello nice job everyone Oh, who's this who's fluttering over? Oh, this is our friend Henry the Hummingbird. And he has joined Tipo and I today. I wonder if you can guess why. Can you guess what the story might be about today? Let's see. Oh, yes, you're right. Our story today is all about birds. Ooh, I wonder if there'll be a hummingbird in this story, too, like Henry. Let's find out. Birds by Kevin Hanks. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Ooh, look at that nice robin out there. Looks like a springtime picture. Birds can be many different colors. Birds can be yellow. Yes, what else? Blue. Very good. Brown. Red. And even green. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. Do you see the shape of that bird's beak? Yeah, I wonder if it's a crow or maybe a blackbird. Birds can be big, like this guy. Have you ever seen him at the zoo with his long skinny legs? Yes, that's the flamingo. Oh, and looks down, who's down here? They can be little, like Hummingbirds, like our friend Henry. Or they can be any size in between. Who else do we see? Yes, the owl. What does he say? Ooh. Ooh. Very good. And who's this that we sometimes see at the ocean? Yes, the seagull. Once. I saw seven birds on the telephone wire. Shall we count them, friends? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good counting, everyone. They didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move until I looked away for just a second gone. They all flew away at once. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew, think what the sky would look like. It's almost like their tail feathers were paint brushes. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this or this. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. Do you know what kind of a red bird that is, friends? Yes, that's the cardinal. Maybe you've seen a cardinal. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled, surprise! Look at them all flying away at once. If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the other birds go when it's stormy. Where do you think they go? Yes, probably to their nice, dry, and cozy nests. I like to pretend I'm a bird. That's fun. I can't really fly. But I can do this. J 
just like a bird, I can sing too. Oh, look, there's the robin singing its call and the little girl singing along with. Very nice. Oh, I like that story a lot, Tifo and Henry. That was a nice choice. Yes, good job. Shall we try a finger play about a bird? Great, and a lot of you might know this one. It's called Two Little Blackbirds. And we're going to pretend that our fingers are the blackbirds. And when they fly away, we're gonna hide them behind our back. Are you ready? Two little black birds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job, everyone. That was a fun story, Tifo. Tifo and I like to go outside and watch the birds. Sometimes we use these. Yes, binoculars. And what they do is if a bird is far away up in a tree, they bring it so it looks closer and we can see what it looks like. Yes, maybe you'll do some bird watching with your family. Henry would like that too. Okay, until next time, everyone, please be safe, be kind, and keep on reading. And our story today was Birds by Kevin Hanks. And we'd like to thank our publisher, Green Willow Books. Bye, everyone.